So Rogue is actually just going with the, the cannon ban. Dude, I want to see a TF ban from Rogue. I really don't want to see them play into Niski's TF all the games. Uh, one game. One game I give them to play into TF and that they, their counter needs to work. And if for whatever reason they the counter works but they still lose, they should still ban it in my opinion. I think one game you can try it because there's not going to be much adaptation from Fnatic because who can you scrim really this week? Pike, man. Really, Pike 1, 2, 3. Like, I think Pike 4, 5, but I don't know. Maybe I, I underrate Pike, but I don't think this champion is that good. Oh, I'm curious, yeah, if the, if the Rakan will come out, like someone in chat mentioned. I, I mean, Rakan, Rakan had was Giga first Prio. It, it was first pick. Yeah, so. in, in the other series. I mean, I, I, I would be surprised if Rakan, uh, if Rakan didn't come out because they they picked Ezreal, right? And when you pick Ezreal, you don't really need the support to contribute that much to the lane. Yeah, it's just that they both kind of are the same, right? They're like both on the weaker end, slightly scaling picks, so they can actually get yep. hard dominated now by they can get quite a few in, picks, honestly. Permanently. I mean, yeah. the the one that I think people would be looking at would be like Morgana, right? Yep, there it is. Oh my god. This lane is really rough to play because basically Aphelios can always just start trading and Rakan can never W in because like there is one the Black Shield but two the, the binding is so free to land them. And Aphelios also has another snare, right? So like Rakan can get interrupted midair and then it's a really tough lane for Rakan yeah. to play. Oh no, it's a super hard lane. I mean, this is like, this is a lane where you go into it as Fnatic and you're pretty much just like saying like, hey, if we are down 20 CS and two plates at 10 minutes, that's like even. That's like what's expected out of this matchup. I mean, wh what do you expect Adam to blind? I'm, I'm actually really surprised Adam blinded Camille. Like that just doesn't sound like it's in his uh, wheelhouse. Uh, this rogue draft is hard to play in fights though, I feel like. It's pillar into poke and they have only a binding. That's it. Binding a failure, a failure snare, I guess, and then shuffle. I mean, I think the, the thing that Fnatic has over them is they have like all the playing potential. Like they don't have as good laning, but they seem like they've been more coordinated in general uh, than Rogue this playoff. So I could definitely see uh, Fnatic just opening up the game with like a TP play or like a four man bot, a Rizalt play, something like that. Yeah, Morik is actually weak against that, right? Because she, she is really good mm -hmm. in like 2v2, but the more people that join the fight, the weaker Morgana kind of gets. Whereas Rakan is the opposite, I feel. I mean, now this lane will be rough though. It's the bounce, and then Aphelios played longsword. He used two pots already, but he's unpokeable. That's really yeah. well played by them right now. Wow, that's just free first blood. Damn. Yeah, it's quite frankly, it's misplayed by Healy yeah, to even sure. be in that position. I mean, that's like the downside of Healy. We just saw the good and the bad of Healy in, in one second. They're double I mean, this lane here. is really out of play. Oh, but this is so good. They've got that ward. Yep. Wow. And, and Rogue didn't even like match with the top TP. They didn't care about the middle one either. I mean, that's, that's a good play from Fnatic. Oh, damage. Ignite. Oh, they're prepping the dive. So here's the thing. I mean, this is the question. Does Odo TP or do they just take it up the... Oh, wait, that's actually really good from Trimmy. Yeah. Wait, it got canceled. Adam canceled the TP. Yeah, this can't happen, guys. You can't get four man dove with no warning. You're like pre plan, come on. Uh, yeah, this is what you can't, get, you can't get poked on the wave either. I mean, Niski is hard carrying this game. He's been bought twice and he's even CS mid as Ryzen to Azir. I think that's why. I think Wippo actually saw a start. I need to check it again, but that's why he is bathing as well. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. This is where Fnatic often throw, though. This exact spot, like mm -hmm. between turrets when they're still up, but this was very coordinated. W was that the end of the Herald? Why did he spawn it so early? It must have been. Inspiring? I mean, I'm expecting more than, like, I don't know. I was expecting more from Inspired. Like, Inspired is normally the one that's been playing well while the rest of Rogue is choking, but I feel like in this game, he seems like he's really, like, out of it. Okay. But I mean, even if even if your uh, plan was something different, like, I feel like you gotta be able to adapt. Hilly's dead here, 100%. But I mean, this is like a Jace TP. You're losing your top tier, uh, tier one, and you're not really getting anything out of it. Like, you're getting one kill. I mean, this is so good for Adam, though. He gets first turrets, 610 gold. Like, you get that as Camille, you feel like you're just gonna 1v9 the game completely. Yeah. Oh, Odo's dead again. Uh, Alright, gets a cleanup kill. I mean, that's obviously worth for Rogue, getting a shutdown like this. Yeah, super worth. Breaks the tempo as well. Upsets alone in Bolt, Adam. Has found inspired, no flash. Guys run for his life. Not too tanky. I mean, I don't think this is going to do anything. DP. Shuffle? Or the stopwatch. Whatever. Oh, he has, he has no shuffle. Okay, yeah, then... Uh... 
I mean, even if he has the shuffle, like, I, I don't know. I feel like these are like, I don't know. This is this is such a weird game from Inspired. It's so weird. I feel like, I don't, maybe I'm just holding him to too high of a standard, but I just expected more. I mean, I think you're right in saying that he has played much better games than this. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's really true. But I feel that Draft makes it, I feel it's hard to play Trundle with it. Like, nobody can do anything. Their biggest CC is literally Trundle Piddler. That makes it really hard to get it done when you're, like, slightly behind or the map gets a little fiesta. Oh my god, Niski with the solo bolo? Niski's just too good or what? He's like, I feel like Niski's just been hard carrying. Man, he, first pick like, he, even improved. he improved so much as well. Like Niski gapping Larson is not something that people would have said like for, for a very long time. But if you're playing like a, a Vayne lane or something, Vayne Braum, you can go side, but like Morgana, Felios doesn't want to be side either. Hey, Adam with a with the solo kill. Okay. Right, at this point, at this point, it's completely doomed though for Rogue. Like I don't see how they can win. They they don't win on oh, yeah, either side. Game's over. Yeah, it's just super over. I mean, this game is like one of those games you have to look at the review and you have to be like, what the hell happened here? Because like the thing is, Fnatic just made team plays on bot, got got bot ahead, and then Adam was behind because of his TP bot, and then they just made TPs on top. They just made like four man plays on top. And somehow Rogue didn't respond to those either. And then Adam was ahead. So it's like somehow both lanes got ahead. And this wasn't at all like from Fnatic's laning. Like Fnatic just outplayed them as a team. There was no like, oh, this guy is gapping this guy. And that's what ended up happening. Yeah. Like uh, I feel like Fnatic, like they take something out of one lane and put it in the other. And, and they do that repeatedly very well. That's actually really cool to watch. Yeah. Oh, he's dead again. And they do punish side really well. Ooh, they get a TP as well. No, 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 I mean, no, no, Larson, no, no. Larson is like griefing so hard by this TP. You just have to accept it. Okay, now Nash Force to make to make all the one TP as well. They're just gonna give it right. The healing flank. I wonder how Fnatic fans like rationalize this because I know Fnatic fans like hated when Niski like signed to Fnatic. People were so mad. I remember I, I didn't actually realize how mad they were until uh, I was because I mean I'm boys with Yamato and recently I was uh, I, I saw him tweet out the thread. Of yeah, when they yeah, signed yeah, this yeah. game, and people were so mad. Like, well, now two teams are dead. Well, now Fnatic sucks because Niski's on it. Like, people hate this guy. And then, like, he always performs. So I wonder how those Fnatic fans conceptualize it. Or, or I wonder if they just don't identify with the statement at all and pretend that they didn't actually think that. Yeah, um, actually, really good comms around, like, bursting baron, barons and slowing down uh, damage and stuff. I mean, I, I, I saw the ones that I saw, Hilly was, like, really good about those situations. Super good that your support's able to call it. Because normally, like, every situation that I see, it's the jungle that's perma-calling what to do with the mm -hmm. Baron, like how many people, like, do you want somebody to, to turn and like stop the smite? Like what exactly is happening here? Oh my God, that was actually pretty clean from, from Whippo. Mm -hmm. and they end up being the best team in the world. Like, what about FPX? Like, uh, no one thinks that this team was going to be as good as they were. I mean, Niski just completely smurfed this entire game. I really love like what, what Everfrost did to rise combos for the champion. Like it really ties it all together. Does Camille become a threat now? I mean, no, you, you don't you don't consider the Camille a threat in this game. Like that can't be the thing. I mean, there's so many other things that are problems that like you can't start being afraid of, of Adam's Camille after this game. Yeah. Like you could consider I mean, she it. might be she might be a threat, but you you need to take. If you end up losing the series because you get top cap, then then that's fine. But yeah. you need to get to that point first. If you could look at this game, the things that you're going to be considering, what do we do with Rise, and then what do we do with Rakan? Those are going to be the first two questions. Wait, look at this. Uh, look at this draft. Rogue with the TF ban, Rise first pick. You know what? I, I respect this. At least they're trying I, I to. I love different. it. I love it. Like basically, tell them you either ask how do we beat Rise, how does we have to beat Rise, or What's your third champion? Love it. And they force Rakan to be picked in first three as well, which means the, the mid lane answer might not be there, or they get to ban Rakan 4 5. So does Rogue take away the Rakan right here? I don't like this trundle, man. Please don't pick this. Let's see a Lee Sin, man. Why not a Lee Sin? I feel like Lee Sin is just better here. You're playing into. I haven't seen Cassio in ages, man. I mean, I guess I guess they don't want Lee Sin into Cassio. That's like the the logic is Lee Sin's annoying to play into Cassio. But I just think in general, like just if you have a Rise, you'd much rather play with Lee Sin than a Trundle. And Trundle is not great versus Cassio um, himself. I think Fnatic just take Rakan here, complete blind, and they ban out like a couple counters. Yeah. They went for the Camille. They went for the Camille. It's it's good draft pressure from Rogue to basically say that no, you, you don't get to pick Rakan three yeah. and just complete four five the bot lanes. I, I would I would expect. Uh, Rogue to just go with like Ash. Well, here's the they question. Just on four? Do you actually go? Well, what would you actually take here? Are you gonna go Ash Leona? Or are you gonna go Ash Morgana? Because you don't really want to be playing like Morg with this. Yeah. I would even consider Nautilus, this. honestly. 
Nautilus, Leona, one of those two. Well, I would play Poppy, but there's yeah, no chance to go Poppy here. Oh no way! Oh. You'll be so Mickey. you'll be so happy if he does this. Mickey, I mean, Mickey screamed it against them, right? I mean, not against them. I know he played it in screams, right? Oh my uh, God! It's actually done against you. Oh, never mind. Lulu. No. Wait, Lulu. wrong Yordle, bro. Yeah, not sure about that. Wait, isn't Lulu into like this comp? Like, I don't know. It's a normal bot clear. I mean, this is literally unlaneable in the early game for yeah. Fnatic. Oh my god, did they kill him? They killed yeah, him they again, just, yeah, they bro. Their bot lane is just it, capping 2v2. Wait, what did he start? Did he start W there? When, did he flash away? I think he, he must oh, have, I think he must have started E. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice gank. That's, that's broken. Really, that's a really good gank. Oh. I did, they need to do that more, man, to deal with this prior mid. Just do a lot of ganks. There's no way that he's covering every gank if he's moving that much on the map. I mean, now, like, the question is, like, how does, uh, how does Fnatic actually look when they're losing an early game? Because they normally perma win early game. Yeah, they fall apart usually. Well played. Oh. Really well played by Niski. Does Niski get Larson as well? Yeah. Flash. I, I think Larson, Larson could have flashed the kill on the jungler. Yeah, I think I think Larson could have potentially flashed, but he didn't. Oh, I don't know. I feel like Adam's like a weird player to characterize because you can't really say that he's bad in laning, but he's kind of like, I think he, his wave control is not that good, but he's good at like finding kills mid or, or like in the lane. So he's like good at like one aspect of laning, but not good at another aspect of laning. It's probably something that you develop when you're like oh, the course. slightly better player in regional league, right? You sure. start looking for, for like actual lane exploits. But then, okay. Okay. I so disjointed, man. Holy. Yep. Unless he give. I wonder. The only thing I need to see is if somebody gave Rocken like uh, uh, oh, a loop, you know? He like half turned around and it didn't work. Oh, that's so tragic, actually. Adam needs to just back off completely. Yeah, it's a give angle. It's a give angle. Oh, he's walking up the turret. This is really grief. I hold the pillar for the cancel. Oh, he failed the cancel, but it still should be fine. No. Oh, this, that's tragic. Yeah. I mean, like that's the only mechanic on this champion. Hey, Fabian, she's in chat, by the way. If you want to get him in. Man, like, Inspired is really griefing this game. Let me, let me add uh, Fabi. Hello, Fabian. You can, hear, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Let's go, boys. It's open. Your career is over, but it's under. There's a new skin on the turf. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, well, that was nice, man. <laughs> Dude, it's actually crazy, man. Like, Niski is just gapping everyone, or, or what's happening? Like, imagine 12 months ago, just one year ago, after, like, this was literally right after C9 had been eliminated by TSM, and then somebody goes yeah. to you and tells you, Larson is going to be getting gapped by Niski next year in LEC on control mages. What would you think? Yeah, I'd be surprised. But to, but to be fair, that person would also tell me that Reckless is going to join G2, and they will lose, and I'll be like, yeah, bro. <laughs> what are you, like, smoking crack? Like, what's going on? You know? well, but that's one that's literally impossible to predict. Like, G2 to be fair, then, then he would tell me, Upset's going to get married. It was like, yeah, man, for sure, bro. Oh, wait, that's... Wait, what happened here? The arrow. Look at the arrow. Yeah, yeah, but what happened to Odo? Why, why can't Odo kill this guy? Oh, he actually got the kill. That's pretty nice. Oh, good flash. He probably used it on the wave, no? That's probably yeah, what happened. Yeah, I didn't there. see it. That's actually a pretty big swing for Rogue. This is huge, man. This is massive. Because yeah, Rakan really is now there, but he's too late. So Rakan is useless as well for the next minute. Yeah, and think about and how... there's no cross map. Yeah, and think about how many plates Hansama got. Because Hansama got all those plates bought, and now he's getting top turret too. So now they have like 2k gold lead. Well, that's player. actually that's oh. actually pretty big. Oh, it was so well played by Trimmy. Yeah, Trimmy actually smurfed this. Trimmy smurfed it oh, super hard. Oh, he's, he's oh, this is over. Busy. Oh, this is still uh, upset. Oh, upset got hit sure. by. Oh, okay, this is super oh, doomed. They're all dead. Upset has yeah. no no flash. Oh my god, we got the series, boys. Let's go. I mean the mountain. Nice, nice, nice. Fifty-five percent win rate in master tier. Dude. Yeah, because I was. 50% win rate in plat. <laughs> it, was my, it was my grief act. It was my Wait, grief hold account. On. Okay, Bwibble had the flash. That's actually pretty big. But they have no yeah, arrow. but only one was still bot, by the way. I don't know how that happens. What's going on? Oh, that's a Febby play. Oh. Wait, why did oh, they I go love here? I love... Oh, what no, no, is he, he doing, minimap. by the way? He clicked Wait. minimap. He clicked minimap for the Rise OT and he f***ed it up. What, what just happened? Huh? What, what just happened? What am I watching? It's, it's, a, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, for sure. But like, how did it end up like this? 
Oh, they're it's going so smart Adam to trap here. this bush. Yeah. It's so smart to trap this bush because they probably blue twinked it, right? Mm. Man, they sold this so well. Holy shit. Still lost Drake, though. I just but don't know why they now. rise ulted to like. They, 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 they're they trying to rise ult to China and they forgot the worlds was in Europe. It's so crazy. <laughs> did you think they could have burned the Baron? And just, uh, no, I think, no, no. I think what they did was suicides? right. I just think that they should have ulted to the Baron. That's all. Uh, I mean, did you, I see, mean did you see how hesitant they were face checking every brush? Because yeah. they had zero vision, right? I mean, I don't think they need to be. Okay, Hansama with the movement. Oh, Hansama movement. It's oh, lost. but then he then he just trolls and he griefs it he completely. Oh yeah, he didn't no, flash the vehicle. it's so sad. That's a tilt, dude. That's a series. Uh, this is so. I think they could have finished Baron, honestly. Oh, wait, Adam. I think. Adam I, I think in in hindsight, if you saw how patient. How scared Fnatic was to face like every single brush? Yeah, they should have just rushed the Baron. Well, I mean, the, the, so the other thing is like, if if Fnatic ends up going in for this Baron, like, Bubba is 100% dead. Yeah, you win the fight no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just win the fight. Because Bubba had no flash, so he only had all. I mean, I still don't think, think Rogue so lose the game, though. Like, I think that the game is now just like, even when it should have been super big. Wait, what? Wait, what uh, are they doing? Uh, uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. They're just a mega grief again. Yeah, it's, it's, what it's, the it's, hell? It's, their it's, mental, it's, their it's, mental is just. Hey, what? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Rock and roll. Rock and stare. It's stumps. Upset stare. Diego. Their oh. mental is so shattered. They actually just went for a hard like three v five force. Top. Yeah, check where Odo. Check where Odo is. He just caught away from bot and now he's clearing mid wave while his team is any percent using bolt sprinting it down. Hey, but Niski is. I mean, he's playing the fights well. Yeah. Okay. I cursed oh. it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I, he actually got that kill. I'm surprised he hit the Q. It's really hard to just watch them and know that, like, their environment is probably... Oh, yeah, yeah. No. This is not a good good way to go to Worlds. If I'm them, I, like, no scrims, man. Put these guys on a vacation. Start fresh. Yeah, G2 vacation. It's the only way. <laughs> Wait, yeah. inspired? Wait, Hilly? Hilly just green. Hilly yeah. just green super hard. Ah, but if you can't deal with him on the worst, you don't deserve him on his best, you know. True, true. Huh. Wait, what are they doing? What is what is Rogue doing here? They're actually just fighting 3v4 into the enemy jungle that they don't have vision into while their their uh, mid laner is based. Like, this is just reportable, I mean, man. Surely all of them can't be in that rush, right? I don't know. When I talked to Inspired on the crackdown, he, he like... He admitted, he's like, yeah, I think we, we have like choking issues. He's like, I'm not sure exactly why we have them or like how to fix them, but he was aware that they have these issues. Also, this is a great engage. <laughs> great it's engage. so dirty, man. This guy's rock on. It's... Because even if he if they all flash or something, he gets three flashes there. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is crazy, man. Rogue is like next level choking. Dude, they, they look so tilted on the cams. Like, how is this not going to be a 3 0? Only if Fnatic get too cocky. That's the only way I see it. Yeah, they don't, though. I mean, they have in the season, though, a lot. Maybe not in playoffs. Well, I mean, I think I think Fnatic got pretty cocky this game. Like, the way they played level one bot lane, so, uh, they, they, they've been solo killed twice bot lane in like two minutes. They need to actually stop doing this type of stuff. But it looks like even if Rogue gets an advantage, they're still going to throw it themselves. So that's the hard part. I think somebody made a comment, I don't know where or where I saw it, is that Rogue wants to play like two secure of place, like the 80% place, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think the, the the current correct way to play is just, just to not flip it a lot, but take it all like 60-70% place. I, I think, feel like... Uh, go for it. Sorry, no, go ahead. I, I just remember Fnatic doing this a lot back in the, like a really long time ago, like Season 3. I may be pissed off about it because they were no, not playing the, in the correct way. None of us were alive in Season 3. Like, what are you talking about? True. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa I like hanging out with war. you. You make me feel young. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking boomer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're only four months older than me, but I just, you know, that, that makes me feel super young. So I'm just gonna stay with yeah, the narrative. There's... What were you saying, Fabian? I just feel like uh, they they all play so isolated. Like top lane, I feel like gets z like I I have never seen anything on top side for Rogue ever. I don't know. I can't remember a single time. Then okay. bot lane, they are usually like I don't know. They just play so isolated from the jungle, right? oh, you know? Like, I feel like Inspire tries to play like Canyon or something, you know? But his lanes are just like... Yeah, he's playing like Canyon, except that. he's not picking Canyon champions, he's picking f***ing Trundle. He's like, alright guys, I will continue farming my jungle. Nice, we lost the game. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, don't they, know, like... they don't respect Trials either, though. Like, it's it's twice now that they just, they take fights. I mean, he's, like, he just needs to not blabber it on the crab as well. Like, that crab because it's <laughs> last game. Did you just call it blabbering it on the crab? Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, on the... Blabber is so funny that guy doesn't give a 
Bro, this guy, like, he, he has to play a best of five to determine who goes to finals in, like, four hours. He woke up, he has his coffee, he's just trying to watch some some I Will Dominate with the boys and, and some LEC games, and then you're just Wait, playing he's here or what? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> but imagine if he was. Well, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is Rogue saying they want Aphelio, so I really like Fnatic taking it away. I assume that it will just be Ash for Rogue. Gun. You know what's really surprising to me, guys? Every Fnatic mid laner was so good, like, it's crazy. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, I miss expecting. Yeah. Who's who's the worst mid laner Fnatic's ever had? Not me, Ooh. that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's Nemesis or who was the mid laner after the the breakup? Was that was that Febbe? Caps. What, ex Caps. what do you mean? No, I joined after Expect. And then yeah, Caps. you were after Expect. Who who, who who is in season six? And then though? Nemesis. Season six, I was playing season six. Oh, that was you were still playing season six. When did you go to HPK? Yes. Season seven? Seven. And then Caps joined. Yeah, it's actually Nemesis. I what? mean, Nemesis is good, like pretty good though. It just shows you the quality of like the, the mid laners. Like pretty much the way it works for Fnatic is if you didn't win a championship, then yeah, then you're like the worst. But I, I love this draft, man. TF, Rakan, Rise Bands, all, all serious impactful champions. And just first picking trash so they can't get uh, Aphelia's trash. I think no matter what they do, at least this did it right. I really like this left draft though. It's really solid. Just pick a it, jungle it, it, that can power farm. Oh. You have a very safe bot lane, you have a strong mid. Top is AFK. Pick something with CC though, in my opinion. Yes, actually I like Jarvan. Yeah, I'll take Viego over a Jarvan, man. I am not, I'm not feeling the Jarvan in this game. Okay, inspired. Even. Just getting his ass beat the entire series. Jesus. He actually just got his ass beat the entire series and Trimby's dead. Nice. They're, they're just full on choke or what? I mean, they 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 probably tilt, they should have won that trade. Like, yeah. they, oh my the god! Before they would have won, by the way. Nah, there's no way. They're so mentally, uh, whatever. They're, they're mentally I mean, shot. I, Graham should have died on the trade before. I think if the flay hits from Tundi, or not died, but like, that's dead as well. Oh man. I mean, these guys are. This is like one of the most mentally weak teams I've ever seen. It's actually crazy how mentally weak this team is. Uh, guys, how can you have so many good games in the regular season, but then when you go to playoffs, like, I, I don't know, always when I was playing League, and I, we, like, I always told my team, guys, if we int in the, in the normal game, in the regular split games, it's fine, you know? Like, I don't care if you guys have a bad game, blah, blah, but, like, when we get to playoffs, like, you cannot have a bad game. <laughs> God, man, it must you be hard playing with you, what the <laughs> no, like you just like I don't know how you can allow yourself to have a bad game in yeah. playoffs. Like I don't know. No, this is this is perfect. This is exactly what you should be asking your teammates. <laughs> You're like, I mean, look, guys, like I, I'm okay if you run it down in regular season, but if you ever have a bad game in playoffs, like you should probably just retire instantly. No, I don't say that, but I just really want to win. You know, like I don't know how people allow themselves to int in playoffs. Like. All row inspires low four. Well, this key. Inspired is just dead. Yeah, he's beyond dead. Just solo killed. It just looks, man, it's so crazy. Yeah, Pwipo did a number on him. It's a double kill, by the way. Oh my god, no. Oh, if he hit that, it was a double kill. He's 66, 66. Oh, that's fine. We take those. All I'm saying is Knight would have hit that. Oh, yeah. Doing B2. Yeah, doing B2. Who's tanking? Fogging as well, I think. Really? Oh, upset's dead. Oh, wait, never mind. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. probably dead. Nice quick is that. My screen. Yep. Yeah, they are really. They, this is cocky. Like, this is. Yeah. They are I mean, too excited is, right now. This is standard for now. I just don't think that Rogue is able to, to even come back in a game. Oh. Yeah, I'm lost as well, actually, on that one. Oh, man, how good is Hilly? Hilly just hits everything, or what? Yeah. Oh, Hilly's dead. <laughs> how good is Hilly? I mean, no way. Like, okay. he, he hit his... <laughs> it's up to the other guy to hit his. Cheap ulti was late, I think, as well. Also, a slight advantage for upset thanks to the kills that he has been getting. Let's see if this could be another kill. Oh no, <laughs> no, you have to play lantern there, man. You can't. I don't like how Fnatic is playing this auto. No, no, this TP is 
Yeah. I mean, uh, that's what I keep on saying about Fnatic, though. Like, Fnatic has flaws in their gameplay, but it seems like no one in Europe is good enough to actually exploit it, besides for maybe Mad Lions. I mean, based off, like, seeding and based on how they looked at regular season, Fnatic should have lost the last three series. They should have lost to, to Misfits, they should have lost to G2, and they should lose this series, but they keep on winning, so I don't know. At what point is it just that EU is just not good enough to play with them? I think tomorrow we'll see something else, though. Maybe. <laughs> maybe they're just the best team in the world. Who knows? I said that they were the world, but then I saw Doin B playing League of Legends. Yeah, that guy's a little bit cracked. Man, oh Trundle, passive, and smite, and dragon, hold it. Yeah, it's so good on Baron too, it's like you get 30% of the health, so... Wait, what is the passive? Whenever anything dies next to you, you heal. So yeah, you heal the percentage the of the thing's life, so it's yeah. like really insane at times like this. So like when you clear wave, like the minion's dying, like you heal, but with the dragon you just spike up so much. Oh, Inspired gets a kill here. That's actually really big that Inspired gets this kill. Oh, Jinx is free auto by the free auto. Oh, never mind. Yeah, at least they banned TF, right? Uh, it's just an insane mid jungle gap this series. I mean, this is like the big fight though. I mean, this is soul point, so. If Rogue, mm -hmm. like Rogue actually need, if they want to have any chance, like uh, they can't. But they have full info, they are no TP flanks. Oh right? wait, they got, oh, they got Niski, that's pretty big. Oh, never mind, they're the all dead. As well. They are all dead. Ah, but how good this upset's playing this, this season, man. Hold it. Oh, I think he's OT hit four people. I think he's the best player in NFC. Actually? For sure, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I talk with this, this guy so much. He, we talk so much on Discord. He always put his like stream on the Discord. You know, I see every solo game he plays. He's like, I don't know, getting rank one whenever he wants. He's just so insane. It was was finals just in the studio last split? Because I know for yeah, so. uh, for NA they, uh, they it did even like... online. No, it was it was online. I think it was uh, online no, it was... in Europe. Wait, it was online? I'm pretty sure it was online. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It I wasn't. It was no, no, it was. Okay. Yeah, it was Matt against Rogue. No. Well, yeah, because Arm because Armu was doing the thing yeah, where he just yeah, stares yeah, at the camera. Yeah. Oh, fair. But I know that they went to like a random like theater in LA for. Yeah. Yeah, for the. Uh... I guess Silas with Viego is also very good. I mean, Niski just smurfed this entire series so hard, actually. All right, Febby, I'm gonna dip out. I'm gonna break before. LCS three and a half out bro that was such a quick series man it was actually two hours 30 minutes I rogue didn't even like show up to play at all fanatic just stomped them like god damn that's really embarrassing for rogue and I guess for LEC fans like you've got fanatic which is looking good but at this point it's like how how much confidence can you have in rogue going international like rogue is looking like a group stage exit again to be honest